one of the highlights of this year's season was diving for Santa Barbara Urchin with Stephanie Mutz. She has a small company, she dives for urchins live and sells her catch every day. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what a live Santa Barbara urchin looks like and how easy they are to clean because they're actually cheaper to buy whole these days. I'm just cutting through the shell and it's basically just a big hollow ball inside the urchin. Those little golden lobes that hang down, they're actually sets of gonads. And you can use your finger or a small spoon and just tug them out. Oh, look how beautiful this one is. Super easy to clean these. Take some warm water and with a fork, very gently pull away some of this dark matter. The brown stuff is just half digested seaweed. And we're gonna use these lobes here as sort of our hero lobes. And now it's time to cook our pasta. I happen to love egg fettuccine. Put a couple of those nests in there. Add some salt. And these egg fettuccine won't take very long to cook, four, six minutes. Drain all of our pasta. All right, sauce. A couple tablespoons of butter. When you see your butter starting to foam, you can add the shallot. We're just gonna let that sweat. We wanna add a little bit of sake few tablespoons, some lemon juice, and we'll let that cook for another minute or so and reduce a little bit. We add just a little bit of our togarashi. This is a Japanese chili powder condiment. And once it starts to get a little creamy and viscous, we add our cream and bring that to a simmer. And I've got some beautiful urchin here, and I'm gonna put about half a cup into there. And all we're really looking for is for this cream mixture to just get to sauce consistency. Put a little salt in here, a little crushed black pepper. Pour this over our urchin. We're gonna take our pasta, dump it back into the pot. We're gonna use this immersion wand. And I'm just rocking this back and forth, up and down, making sure all the little bits of that urchin sauce gets homogenized. The most important part of this whole operation is going to happen right now. Oh. Lemony, sea urchin -y. just needs a little more salt and pepper. Sea urchin is briny and intense. Some people find it livery like foie gras. Personally, I think it tastes like kissing a mermaid. So, sauce, back over our noodles. A little tangle of that sea urchin pasta on there, and I like a little bit of nori. Some very finely minced chive. A couple of these fresh sea urchin lobes, and there you have it. This is the kind of elegant now dish that you want to be cooking. Simple, easy Santa Barbara sea urchin fettuccine.